Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson we are going to see how to run a node process using TypeScript directly without the need of compiling first the TypeScript code to JavaScript code. We are going to show how to run the server in hot reloading mode and we will be showing also how to run a small HTTPS server in Node. This will be in the context of starting up our sample application. We are going to see that we are going to need two processes for it. One is the Angular CLI development server and the other is a small node server that we will be running in HTTPS. So let's first start our node server. You are going to have a look here at our package.json and we are going to see here a couple of tasks that we will be using. We are going to be using here the start server task. So as we can see, we are uh, running here the ts node command and we are using it to run our server. We are going to be reviewing our server in a moment. Right now it's important to realize that ts node is a command line utility that allows us to run node programs directly in TypeScript without having to compile them first. So the compilation will happen on the fly. Notice here that this flag here means that we are running the server in HTTPS mode. So we are not going to be using start server in this course. Instead, each time we will be using instead the server task. What this server task does is it uses a node utility called nodemon for scanning all the TypeScript files in the server directory and each time that we make a change to our code, it's going to run our server again. So this means that when you are adding functionality to the server, this will effectively hot reload the server. So let's start this task. We are going to do npm run in the command line in the same folder as our package.json and we are going to do npm run server. As we execute this command, the server will start up and you will see here on which port. So we have here an HTTPS secure server that is running at port 9000. In parallel with our REST API server, we are going to be running the Angular CLI server. We are going to use this task, npm start. We are going to open a second terminal. We can use here the plus button for that. And in this second terminal, we are simply going to do npm start. And as the server starts, let's have a look here at the start command. So as you can see, we are running the development server in proxy mode. We are passing in here some proxy configuration. Let's have a look at the configuration file. So what this configuration file means is that every HTTP request that we do in our application that starts with slash API is going to be proxied or it's going to be redirected to this server here, the HTTPS localhost 9000 server, which is our REST API server. So this HTTPS server is running with a self-signed certificate that is not recognized by the Angular CLI server. So we are configuring here the secure flag to false. And this means that the Angular CLI server is not validating this self-signed certificate. So now let's have a look here at the running application. We are going to head over to port localhost 4200. We simply hit enter and we are going to load here the application that we are about to secure. Let's then do a guided tour of this sample application. This is coming right up in the next lesson.